Welcome everyone to Juno's with Just Commentary. So we're gonna check the video. It's Mark Wayne, however, he's in a different country. He's not in Thailand, he's not in the Philippines or Indonesia. Actually, he is in Dubai. So that this video or the this video, <laughs> the video is entitled The Ultimate Dubai Food Tour. Street food and MRT cuisine in Dubai. UAE. Thank you very much for requesting this video. It's going to be a very long video, so I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Dubai. Very amazing day, Mark. And I'm on my way to go meet UAE. my friend, Kayman. He's from wow, Dubai. my God. He's a local travel TV. Boy, look at that phone. He's an awesome guy, and he also <sighs> loves to eat. Dubai. So in this video, we're going to take you on a tour. And they're using their hand. Dubai. And in this video, we're going to show you some of the best restaurants. Can't. Can't wait. Let's go ahead. Hey, Hi. Dubai, Dubai. Wow, beautiful place. Schnitz too. What? Wow. Look at that. Dubai. I've heard that Dubai is like a multi millionaire, million dollars, billion dollars kind of place. You know what I mean? Great economy there, I understood. And this is one of the. The Emirati restaurants that serves exclusive Emirati. Emirati food. Absolutely. I okay. think it's the only one that does exclusively Emirati. Okay. Alright, cool. So this <laughs> and he's got his camera. He's got his camera also. Wow. What a sight. They've really set this place up nice. Uh, it looks like an old market uh, slash a, a village. They have it all on the menu. Oh, and the baby is this. And I'm going to fully rely on Paymon to do the, all, all the ordering. <laughs> well, is that? There's this coffee culture over here, right? So uh, little cups like like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. You've got the coffee coffee pot. And wow, that coffee, coffee pot looks coffee. very so dangerous. I have to hold the cup in my right hand because I have to hand it to you in my right hand. So the coffee on the left hand, and it's usually. It's looking like that. <laughs> the lamb that will get a genie out of it. Like that. So you never fill the <coughs> cup. And then I can offer you the coffee. Thank you. And I, how do I accept it? Just in, in any way you hold it. And I need to wait. Uh, you, need, you, you keep drinking and I can keep pouring for you and keep pouring for you. Once you are done, you don't want any more, you do this. We got coffee. We got <laughs> a, a bunch of food that has all just arrived. We're here with uh, Tim and Dwight, and Nick and Mike are here. <laughs> yeah, it's really. So here I'm. What you just say? Because not only do you taste the wow, oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know what food. That. That's very strange. This looks delicious. Is that like? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And uh, this is so you, you, you do Dubai. It for dessert, and you also do it uh, during Ramadan. Uh, so during right. Ramadan. You this, this <laughs> it's golden, and then you can see the you can see the date syrup on top, and then you can also see some wow. sesame seeds sprinkled. Sesame seeds. Oh, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> on the inside, and then just has that that crunchy. Oh crunch. my God! This looks delicious, though. Wow. Like the food is all yellowish, orangish, if you notice. Do they use a lot of curry in, in Dubai? Oh my god, this looks so delicious. It's like roti, look like, not roti, but I mean it looks like it, the way in which the roti will be in the pack. Now, I travel for food. <laughs> delicious. Wow. Dubai. I saw a video about Dubai and how they are using the desert to do farming. Matruba. What's the middle of You can see the shreds of chicken in there. Yeah. It's almost like porridge looking in. Chicken. I don't like to see that one. I don't know why. It, uh, I don't like to see that one. 
Pits. It looks like, like bath. No offense. Yep. I don't like to see that one. I also don't like to taste it. I said I don't like to see it. It looks very strange. What is this one? This one looks interesting. Balalit. Ah, that's what I say. It looks like on that. Omelette. Uh, saffron in there. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of like <laughs> the kind of sweet spices like cardamom or. I'll put some right. kind of um, nice sauce over this, right? Uh, it's really a, a unique, interesting dish, both in flavor Looks and that way. You got those, the noodle, those noodles, which you can feel every, every piece of noodle. And then the, wow. the omelet. This looks delicious. And yeah, you can feel it's kind of like. Yeah, it feels like and you're gonna it dip like it in there? Wow, this looks delicious. Ooh, this looks delicious. <coughs> With pancake, I don't like pancake though. I put a somelet. This looks nice. And this looks like bakes. Oh boy. That's a lot. So you see that? You can hear the crunch a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Ooh. They're like little. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> it was just so busy looking. Really fluffy. Really spongy on the inside. Uh, Has a crispy outer. <laughs> and then that date. This really came out of nowhere. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Looks very delicious. How much? Seventy-six twenty-one. Wow. They have the full range of rice dishes as well, but we. Seventy-six twenty-one is like almost like hundred and seventy dollars in my currency. I think. <laughs> you can't eat too much because you know you gotta eat a lot. <laughs> Dubai. Very beautiful. Through downtown Dubai, you can see the skyline, which is always impressive. Uh, just giant skyscrapers, just reaching the sky within the. It's like the they're in the desert. And we're yeah. Way next to have some tea. It's a special kind of tea. Okay, yeah, it's a special <laughs> kind of tea. Karak over here, K A R A K. Okay. Uh, but it's actually Kadak, K A D A K. It's from India. Really ah, so that means they have some kind of Indian culture. Because I, I'm not, I don't be surprised they're using curry. I, the meal it look very orangish, yellowish. Cool. Such a beautiful place. So, same karak for everybody. Yeah. Should I film them? Absolutely. I should do that, right? Let me, let me show you. What and then we can fake it that we didn't go out of the car. They're making like uh yeah. This is just a little kiosk. So it's all pickle. It's all like in your car. Oh okay. Ah uh, yeah, thank you very much. Ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that looks very hot. Ready? Great. That looks very hot. To buy. Ah, that's how we used to do it before. You put it, you it was very hot. You put it in your like. because it's blazing hot outside and I can well imagine so it's just a little kiosk what in sense per cup a building a little not bad a little hole in the wall um, and then they, they deliver it right to your window so you don't even need to get out of your seat you can sit here relaxing in the AC 
Is it nice? Is it like coffee? It's really, really good. It's, it's so creamy. <laughs> you can taste the strength of the tea. And wow. It is quite sweet, but you need that when it's when it's so hot outside. You need that that <laughs> that extra boost of sugar. <laughs> yeah, the experience I always say is fantastic. Oh yeah. But you'll see all kinds of people. So he's vlogging too. I want to see his YouTube channel. They want to be in the white dress. Uh, not even dress. Sorry if I call it dress. The uh, clothing. The white clothing. So people come and they just order this. They park over here, get out of the car, or sit in the car. And what, what's the name of the place? Dunya Al Sham. Dunya Al Sham. Dunya Al Sham. Dunya Al Sham pastry. They yeah. do pastries as well. Oh, okay. But I mean, that's second. Everyone goes. How many cups would one have per day? A few cups per day? Or. <laughs> many, many more than a few. <laughs> I'm terrible. I might have like two or three of these a day. Okay. <laughs> the, the coffee, the, the amount of coffee yes. that we drink in every day. Too bad. He was the perfect way to, to take the drive, and we are now wow. in a restaurant called Al Marabani. And this is Al Marabani. Feast of a lunch with rice and some amazing food. Oh yeah. I let's bet it's gonna also be like yellowish. I'm oh, quite sure. Yeah. Like the food is also gonna be like yellowish, orangeish. Let's bet. Let's see. Nice yeah, setting. Area, but upstairs they have private rooms, so you can get a little more privacy. You can come in here with your own group and it's a traditional wow. dining setting. Also Beautiful. <laughs> And you have, you have to sit on the floor. Rice, along with uh, a variety of different meats. And uh, Payman was telling me that the mandi is a style of meat preparation that's usually traditionally underground where they, they slow cook the meat so it's just fall off. Wow. And the food Beautiful. I like that plate. I like that love hat plate. Wow, really oh, wow, 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 wow. Did I tell this gonna be yellowish? It's like yellow orange. It's like, I'm quite sure they use curry. Yeah, they, they serve, we, we ordered all family style, so they have a platter. There's rice on the base. We got both chicken, which is uh, red in color. You can see how that's Wow, look at that stuff. lettuce and, and that is well presented there. Stick on top. <laughs> uh, <plus laughs> oh, that's a big lettuce. We're gonna eat the traditional style where we just all wow. With your hand. Oh, oh, you can just feel how tender that's going to be. That's going to be like effortless chewing. Oh, even different. Oh, This is just amazing. You know, oh, that is, that is super exciting right from there. Just lean bone, it just slides oh, up. Oh, wow. So this meat is going to be insane. Oh, look at the way this, this lamb just falls apart. Oh, boy, stop it, stop it, stop it. You know. I mix it too. So yeah, I'm just gonna tear off this drumstick. Oh my gosh, that's all wow. Drumstick. <laughs> we gotta share it. That is amazing. And, all right. That tish, it up. Tish, now, we can, now we can dig into some of that lamb with the rice. All right. We've got some. Wow. All oh, that lamb is just crazy tender. <laughs> and I also, I also, I you. Are you supposed to eat with one hand? Yeah, it's just ultimate tenderness. You got the fatty juices flowing. Oh, that's flavorful. Is so that like yoga? Like what is that? It's a, a tomato, tomato puree. It's okay. probably got like some uh, some greens in there. Maybe mm. a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon. Yo, no, this is delicious. Ooh, really? And then you can scoot the, scoot the chicken over chicken. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and just mix it up with the rice you can see the rice is wow really, the rice is really long grain you got a nice rice you never know till you try it wow that tomato sauce i feel the tomato sauce it must be absolutely really delicious fresh. but the yogurt i'm really i don't know it's isn't the yogurt like sweet you can't even hold the look at all that is breaking up no <laughs> yo I know, right? That sauce is really, really good. <sighs> and then, God, this is so delicious. Alright, man. Oh, yeah, I guess you can use both your hands because 
the way he's holding it, it's just really, both his hands. You're, you're gonna really love just, I mean, one of the one of the best things about eating with your fingers is it adds an extra element to the. To yeah, the I mean, you you eat it with your hands. I think the best way to eat is with your hands, yeah. Uh, but also cultural. Um, Chicken is really flavored to pull too. You got um, cultural forms and sets and so on. You have to use fork and spoon and knife, but it's so delicious and better to just stick your hand and stick it in the food and yang yang yang. <laughs> Ooh, I want to see how they're gonna do with that ladies there. I got a good piece of fatty meat, green chili no. sugar steak. They provide for you, which could be the the perfect accompaniment to this to this meat and rice feast. No puns. I find there no phones at the table <laughs> on that list. He's on the floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's really fragrant. I can't do that. So far, it's not. <laughs> you can't eat it? It's, it's the type of chili that kind of grows on you, I think. Wow. So good. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Some seeds in it, so that, that has a little bit of heat to it. <laughs> wow, I like the color of the food. I don't get why they're using yogurt, isn't the yogurt like sweet? That's what I'm that's what I'm confused about. <laughs> Ooh. That meal was absolutely just <laughs> looking like it's back 54 US dollars. Down, you know. <laughs> it's, it's completely acceptable. <laughs> yeah, that's CSN. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> you got right, like, He's looking like his belly's filled. The highlight for me, it was so unbelievably tender. I'm surprised Mac is like fit looking because eating all these different variety of food is like. But at the same time, the food you can see some very fatty food. So for all the food that he's eating, you know, the videos that I watch, it's like healthy food, nicely prepared, organic, so to speak. So looking very fatty and oily, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Back into the oven. These guys are mostly uh, Iranian owned. Most okay. of these little bakalas. Now what they started doing is they started making bread right in front of it. So they have like this little space over there where they just do bread. Now these guys do that thin crispy bread called regag and they'll give it to you. You can have it uh, savory, you can have it sweet, but the one that is the classic is just that bread, lots of good oil, and then that fish sauce. Mm. Oh. It is super. This is something you so let's see. Okay. <laughs> they don't have more than bikes, bicycles. With the, the random balloons hanging outside the shop. <laughs> It's a little grocery slash convenience store yeah. in the door, but you don't even need to go inside to watch him make the bread. Oh, he's gonna make it right now, and it's called ragag. Ragag. Wow. Right in front of you there. Whoa. Wow, I saw someone did this. I think Street Food Thailand, I was watching a video about Street Food Thailand. And they also use this sort of frying stuff for the technique. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. And it's ready like that's it? Oh, that was an awesome toss. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> wow. Egg. So where's the cheese? Is that the cheese he's putting there? <laughs> wow. 
my favorite part of him making it is when he takes the, <laughs> the little um, triangle of cheese. And because the cheese is half melted because it's sitting in the Dubai heat, <laughs> like, with one, all with one hand, he opens it and just kind of like squeezes the cheese and kind of like <laughs> flicks it onto the, the base. And then after that, uh, he has some fish sauce. And this is a local fish sauce made from anchovies that he sprinkles on. Wow. Up. And then, oh. And that's my other favorite part. When he finishes, he, <laughs> he folds it up and then he and sends it. it perfectly. So that's the special. So it's the regular $1. 60 for each. It's got wow. an egg on top of it. It's got cheese. And it's got the fish sauce. Fish sauce, yes. <laughs> oh, it looks <laughs> hot. <laughs> right I would think it would, it would get cold cool very fast it's because it's so hot. thin. Delicious. Oh, Looks amazing. delicious. <laughs> oh, that's so good because it's crispy and hot. Uh, and then you've got that salty, creamy cheese. And then you have the extra saltiness. Oh right boy, this looks delicious. And very easy to make. So that means you can make it quick. Thank you. Yeah. Huge thanks to Payment for bringing me to all these places. That's a snack worth standing in the 110 degree weather. Wow. And watch that's... Be, watching it being made and... And, and sweating to eat. Yeah, so this is gonna be the one with the chips. Oh, chips! Chips! Ah! Wow! So do they put the chips in the bag or do just add? What's that? What's that? What is that that he added there? Yeah, it's like if things could not get better. Wow! some oh chips oman they are uh, <laughs> potato chips he he like crunched them up in his in his fingers bag. and then he opened the bag and then sprinkled them on top i got you something else oh well. cool so uh with that other uh regard uh, bread the one with the chips you gotta have uh milk yeah. so you know what this is like uh, salted yogurt oh nice all right salted <laughs> yogurt wow this looks delicious you? thank you Oh my gosh. I will get so fat if I go in places like that. Oh, maybe not, but I show you it's a lot. The potato chips, which are crunchy. Uh -huh. You know, it, the, the base of it, the, the, the bread, almost kind of has a dose of texture, a dose of texture mm. and flavor to it. Absolutely close to it. Wow. Mm, thank you. Looks extraordinary. Extraordinary. Mmm! <laughs> Oh, wow! <laughs> Naturally refreshing. <laughs> what a combination! And this is just an amazing stall. Setting, yeah. A, he's a, such a skillful chef. I love. I wonder if they understand what what. I know they understand what he's saying. Got some water. You gotta you gotta stay hydrated. But the guys yeah, I can here, imagine the whole so. The crew here is really, really cool. They're they're really nice. They're really friendly. It's such a cool place. Oh, I love the setting. But you can see they're in a the desert for sure. Up to now, I've not seen a mountain. Hey, I've seen a lot of mountainous people. buildings. <laughs> restaurants within Dubai there's so many international restaurants but when I came to Dubai I really wanted to focus on eating Emirati food mm. so they're gonna prepare there's not that many Emirati restaurants is because everybody eats Emirati food at their homes and so you eat ah. with your family and you eat with your friends at home you home cook it and so it's still even a new concept to eat Emirati food out at restaurants um, this wow. is gonna be the the finale of this food <laughs> Payment also <coughs> to be an amazing cook, and so he's I can well imagine so. Invited us over to the, their apartment, and we're gonna cook for dinner tonight. We're gonna be making a dish called mechbous. Oh, is there lemons? Yeah. Lemons? Dried lemon? Yeah. Full dried lemon, like. That's what it looks like on the other side. Oh. This is just black pepper. Long green rice. What is those? Not what is those, what are those? <laughs> the first step is Look at Kawang. And we've got some little palm 
Oh, I'm wondering where. I'm, I, I tried to wonder where did they get fish? I tried to wonder where do they get fish because they're like in the desert. But again, in Dubai, I mean, as I told you, I saw a video where they actually fish. Yeah, so that's why I'm wondering where do they get fish? Because they're like in the desert. As I told you, I saw a video where they actually did an entire garden in the desert. So I'm not surprised that they have an amazing pond that will where, where they can actually raise or rear these fishes. Wow, the seasoning looks amazing. That's a lot of salt. Oh my god. I'm a bit confused about that. that, that. Turmeric is very good for you. Turmeric is very good. What is this? Is that like oil? Oh boy, this looks delicious. Coriander. This looks like a delicious one. And then you add the fish. Oh. Why three fish? And there are four of them? Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. What are those? Yeah, I didn't device on this. So the final step is to add in the raw rice and put that in there. You cook it along wow. with everything so all the flavors mingle that is mixes together. And that's just gonna be one aromatic all in one meal with fish and herbs and spices and rice all together. A quick question in and Dubai. We're sitting down to have some tea are the native persons out from Dubai not allowed to show their hair? I noticed that the person who is hosting Mac had his thing on his head. I know he have a hat in the house. I mean, Mac isn't from there. But I remember um, the Prime Minister from my country went to one of these countries. Or he visited Dubai and he had to wear the cultural dressing. Or the apparatus. This is like... We call it something like that pilau. We would do something like that, but except we would use chicken, not fish. That is the very first time that I'm seeing chick fish be fish is used in that kind of way or cooked in that kind of way. We would do something like that, but we do do chicken, not fish, because usually fish will break down very very quick when you're cooking it. I don't know if that's a different fish or if the pond fish is different from the sea fish because we use fish from this Caribbean sea. It looks delicious. It's like as I told you, we call it pilau. My country people prepare something like this and we call it pilau. Tomatoes in there have just been boiled down until they've just just like disintegrated into the rice. You can taste wow. a little bit of the, the fish flavor. Emirati. Hey man, you did an awesome job cooking. <laughs> and all the food today has been fantastic. It's great to have you guys with us, really. An amazing day of eating local. Yeah, this is a great video, of course. I love it. They have shown us really great Dubai. Street food in Dubai. Emirati cuisine in Dubai. Bayman. Yeah, I will definitely check out his videos. Follow his social media. Check out all the links below. I will definitely. And don't forget, guys, subscribe to all of them and follow their videos and their social medias. Give this one a thumbs up too. <laughs> subscribe also to Gina with just a commentary. <laughs> Great video of course from Mark Wayne in Dubai. Thank you so very much guys for subscribing as I said to Gina with just a commentary. I know it was a long video but nonetheless I hope that you stuck around and enjoyed this video with me. Thank you very much. Subscribe, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to your video definitely leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye guys.